Welcome back everyone to yet another episode of Legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen Cooperative. Today I'm joined by my good friend uh, Chris, Swiss Guru. And Chris, so far uh, we've done two uh, missions, or three actually, successful. What's your take on it? Are we, um, are we going to save Earth? Uh, that is still to be decided. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've done uh, reasonably well. I'm, I'm surprised uh, with how little uh, damage we've taken. Though it is a shame that your, uh, uh, well, your Templar got wrecked last uh, last mission. Yeah. So I hope that doesn't bite us in the ass in this one. Well, um, so to set us up with the retaliation mission, retaliation missions, um, as always, um, will try to retaliate against our um, our uh, very um, base camps. And um, this is a specific one because uh, not only are we going to be the target, but also the civilians are going to be the target. We're going to start with uh, 12 plus 2 civilians, so 14 civilians. Two of those 14 civilians are hidden um, alien agents, so-called faceless ones, uh, brutal monsters uh, that um, can um, uncloak themselves. Uh, so... Uh, you can always, or you could always assume that some of the um, uh, civilians are actually monsters in disguise. They will undisguise if you get close to them, or if you, if all of the other aliens have been killed, they automatically um, undisguise um, themselves. Anyways, our job is to save at least six of those civilians, and today's crew will be of the finest. Uh, a couple of our soldiers are actually uh, tired so this is the best crew that we ca uh, could mu muster we got edgar alien poe the sniper whom you have recently promoted uh, as such he was on the last mission hunk finally is being done with being tired um, we gave him the assault rifle um, as well as the med kit um, we're going to rock with zirkim who has the standard rifle and a grenade um, so two specialists on this mission, uh, which is going to be interesting. And we got Renvin as the front line, um, as the front line assault. Are you ready, Chris? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> okay, good enough. I'll take that. So let's get uh, let's get into the mission. Let's not get too excited. Uh, if we um, if we can help it. Let's not get any injuries. If we lose this mission, it's not the end of the world, so play rather carefully would be my last word. As always, for those of you who have just uh, tuned in during the mission, I will be on mute, so Chris won't be able to hear, um, uh, hear me. He's playing the blue guys, I'm playing the red guys, and he's taking his turns usually first. That's uh, kind of the, uh, the rules. We're playing Legendary Iron Man, and let's move into the mission. Here we go. All right, we land it. We'll, we'll, uh, low FPS opening. <laughs> Chris is mocking my uh, PC. As like to use there's 13 civilians. Shouldn't it say 14? Two of which are uh, hidden? Oh, well. Um, looks like my uh, input is once again bugged. So, yeah, fantastic. I found some aliens. <laughs> what a great start. Well, let's see if I can salvage this with someone else. This guy's... Jesus. Controls are... Uh, working up a little bit. So this is mine, yeah. Okay, very good. Alrighty. We have the soldier here. That should be a pretty easy flank if we go like here. Yeah. Or there. I do wonder if I'll pull more more aliens from over here if I do this. Let's see, here we can flank as well. What about here? We flank here as well. So that would be like the most defensive place to go to, but we're gonna go here. It's not a bad place. He'll find out that he only flanks the sector in a second. Alright. Okay, so this guy we have flanked. Now what about the one upstairs? Oh, he is the flank one. Brag. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Hmm. Let's quickly see what kind of damage we're dealing with here. Not a lot, two to three. 
so he can't really do all that much so i'd rather have him be safe and not freaking die so we're just gonna go back here that was not really a cover improvement but it's fine with hunk we can take our shot 82 percent or 70 percent very tempted to go for the advent trooper but uh, i did move here to flank so we're gonna shoot at this guy not bad not bad pretty solid sh uh, shot All right, Zirkim moves in a flanking position, takes out the trooper. Renman moves up. And it's pretty solid first pack. He did well. And now the Chosen is going to appear. He does not know about the Chosens. Oh. He's never seen them before. I probably should have given him a briefing. So, she is immune to explosives. The screen is frozen for me. I'm not sure if that's just on my end. I'll be fixed that real quick. All right, just see you to fix the technical issue. So, Alrighty. the screen didn't actually freeze. Let's see how he wants to deal with her. Can't say I'm a big fan of an invisible assassin. <laughs> he will be so pissed once he gets to uh, know the Chosen real well. This is the sniper. Yeah, he should move them. No enemies visible right now. That's not my guy. So, let's move ahead with Hunk for now. There's no civilians either to rescue, it seems. Hmm. Nothing visible. Our sniper can reach pretty far. I would assume that the assassin, if they indeed spawn all the way back here, probably takes them a bit longer to get here. <laughs> so that is an absolute wrong assumption. Just catch up. The assassin has a brutal, just brutal trying to see what range. the best position might be for the sniper. Over here, maybe. Yeah. Let's go to the side of the tree here. And then set Overwatch with our other guy. Let's see, Hunk. Still got enough ammo. There we go. Closing on target position now. Good. I think he dictated the turn quite well uh, so far. So we are going to move twice and then just Overwatch. The assassin is immune to Overwatch, so not much that's happening there. We know there is another pack behind the the RV here. And now the Chosen continues to move into our direction, which is fantastic. Yeah, well, I don't like the accusatory tone. Um, let's see. No cover here. We just saw that there's a pack over here. Also, we probably don't want to move the sniper first. Let's see if we can get a somewhat reasonable position with Hunk, but best I can see is like over here or over there. That's actually not a bad position. Don't want to go all the way in here. And I'm slightly worried about the assassin being here and just one-shotting him. But, um... Uh, let's have a look here. Not a bad move. I like it. Okay. Do you have cover? Yeah, you do have cover. Good. Um... 
all things considered, Overwatch. I'm gonna leave the sniper for now and hand over to Saiken. See if I can follow up. Not too bad. I like his thought process here. There is a pack which, if I was to move in here, I would probably trigger them. So what we're going to do instead is take the full cover, which worked like a charm. Trying to spot out the assassin. Didn't work so far. So we're overwatching here. And we're overwatching here. All right. In that case, we're going to move over here. The pistol overwatch. Pistol overwatch isn't too bad, guys. So just for your info, it has a higher percentage chance to hit. Uh, but clearly lacks uh, the damage, of course. Well, our overwatch shots are miserable as per the usual. And the Chosen will start attacking as well. Well, nice. At least they revealed her. All right, let's see what uh, Chris thinks about her insane movement range. Well, we were lucky. Um, you know, wh why are we keeping these communication channels open all the time? <laughs> Seems like a security risk. <laughs> uh, let's not use the sniper yet. That's not my guy. Neither is that. I go on. All right. A few people in cover. How much damage was the guaranteed uh, combat protocol? It's like two, I think. Not really worth it. Or sure, we can advance a little bit. Yeah, that's one of the situations where you just gotta bite the bullet and take a couple of miserable shots. Very glad that none of these guys was uh, hidden. Okay, not great chances. Looks like another Overwatch setup. Let me quickly see how the uh, sniper chances to hit look like. 50%. You should really definitely great take either. that one. It's the best we can get at this point. Too far away to take away the cover, I believe. He's right. Yeah, we don't have any grenades on him. Let the enemies make the first move. Would be my current guess. So we're gonna go overwatch with him and overwatch with the sniper. Oh, don't do that. No, well, it is what it is. How close are we? Well, not too bad. Uh, but we do have a problem with the shotgun can't reach anyone uh, while sprinting there, unfortunately. Could go to here, but there is a risk that this guy might be an alien, so I'm not going to do that either. It's a tough position. I'll give him that. And we don't have any good cover over here whatsoever. Try to get up there, but that's not working either. It's actually a pretty um, dry position. Which means... We're doing the minimum that we can in order to at least position ourselves 
correctly. That's a 50-50, which we're going to take. And... I'm giving the aid protocol to an Overwatch person. That way he gets even better cover and we're going to take a 50-50. That didn't work out. No point in removing cover if there's no follow-up. There's a zombie, which we definitely need to kill. They do have the RV firmly under control. Luckily the overwatch trap worked like a charm. Unlucky for us, the Chosen comes in and just slashes like a boss. Well, gotta deal with her first. She definitely has a strong position there. It looks like the chosen knocked one of our soldiers into a daze. We need to get someone over there to help them get back on their feet before that thing can move in and attack. He shouldn't move there. What an incredibly unpleasant enemy. <laughs> Typical reaction. So priceless. If possible, I'd like to not move the sniper. Let's see Great here, they're both... Oh, it's only one target at 38. So, whoops. You should I'd pass like it to over to me. quickly check, Saiken, if you have any particular moves in mind that would undaze this character. Else, uh, feel free to cycle through once and I'll take control again. Good, so he can only he can only like talk to me, but I can't talk to him. And he definitely shouldn't heal himself standing in the open. That'll be I a... seem to recall that you can't heal yourself. Well you can, but it um, would be a death sentence. Let's see. She's all the way over there. He can only take one action, and I believe she knocked him out of cup. Yep. So, we want you get, uh, to get you to good cover somewhere, if possible. It doesn't really look like there is any, except for this one, and I'm a bit afraid that she might be able to charge all the way to here, considering she did chew him. Uh, let's move Alien first, yeah, since there's cool. really only one target, which wouldn't be worth shooting at with 38%. Um, he should not move the sniper. Oh. Maybe he is handing it over to me, hopefully. Yeah. We do have a grenade, but I don't think it is quite long long range enough, even if we move in to hit her and shred that armor. But I could hit her, maybe she's he knows gone. that. Just let him there, do. I still like that spot. Yeah, his thought process is... Oh, we could great. just do another overwatch, though he did miss the last time. No. It keeps switching to him. I'm not sure if Saiken is trying to take a turn. So, just gonna keep doing my thing. <laughs> I'm gonna move you here. No! <laughs> oh my gosh! And we're just gonna hope that Miss Assassin there doesn't have that great a range. Since sadly we can't exactly hit her with an explosive. Which is of course the preferred solution for any problem. Okay! 
Uh, and then Hunk, we move behind good cover as originally planned. Keep them safe there. Well, we Please got ourselves start. definitely in a difficult spot. Just barely not able to hit her. But we could try to hit over here. Zirkin. Can move up. The Chosen cannot hit him. It's a good chance. But we are going to clear this side first. Biggest problem is we're constantly being flanked. The Chosen will use plenty of um, other tools first before attacking. Unfortunately, we still got an overwatch. Mind spin. Into mind control. That stinks. At least we got rid of uh, the soldier, so that worked. Trooper is down. Chosen now moves in. And there's the Harbor Wave. Yet another fucked up skill. He's going to dislike it just so much. That feels like cheating. Hmm. <laughs> One guy dazed, one guy mind controlled, one guy damn near dead. Great, great conditions. That's not mine. Hmm. We gotta get our soldiers we'll back. First, at our chances to hit there. No, that's not the guy we want to shoot. Can we get in range? Not really. That guy has like really good cover. And we don't have a uh, flashbang, I think it is, to get rid of the condition. He is right, that is indeed. And no way to get him up without exposing yourself. But what we can do is move in real quick, get him going again, and then move back out. But great. It protocol doesn't work here, from what I can tell. Mm -hmm. This thing has more than two hit points, yes. Alright. Guess we'll... Move in. Do the aid. Just a quick recheck here. Zirkum, we don't want to shoot. We could, in theory, shoot her. What about him? He can move, but only once. This day stuff is a bit annoying, I will say that. And I take it she's not just going to back down. Oh, she's not going to back down. Don't can't me. really aim over here. I must say I'm a bit lost as to what to do here. Taking away the cover is necessary in trying to get um, trying to get the chosen. He's just gonna keep catching up. But if we just move, I'm gonna lose turns on two soldiers, and then there's only gonna be one guy left to try and get rid of the mind control one. He doesn't have a grenade anymore, so at the very least he can throw one of those at us. 
And if I at least get everyone into cover, we can try and tank one more round of her attacks. So I'll probably play the super defensive option. Need to make sure I'm not moving his characters. So you're a two, I definitely need you in full cover. And then alien... Use the grenade. Use the grenade. Try to get him into a decent position. Oh, he's just... All of them kind of suck. Not gonna lie. Let's put him here. Uh, in the middle one. Since she seems to knock you back one square, maybe she'll just knock him into more cover. Okay, I'm going to take the chances and we'll try to actually engage on the Chosen. Perfect timing would be to get a high ground position up here and then just basically rain hate on her. This is a decent position as well, so you can uh, shoot her. This here will force him to essentially tank her and we'll just gotta deal with the fact that for two rounds we're going to take some pretty nasty hits and have minus one soldier. And the game just keeps giving and giving. <laughs> wow, we are unbelievably fucked. Shooting into half cover. And there's the slice. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty bad. Unfortunate. So we still can't get rid of the alien that for some reason can mind control all the way out of line of sight. Um, mm -hmm. She went down, so she is vulnerable to attacks from above. But how vulnerable is the question? You gotta and heal. Is it worth standing in the open for it? Probably not. You gotta heal. Um. Definitely don't want to get flanked by our own man, but yeah, they seem surprisingly affecting in shooting our men. Let's do the undays for now with uh, Alien. Let's see, he can definitely move sideways and flank here. So, yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble here with the uh, pixelation on my end. Um, let's move to here for now. On days. Get up and get back out there. Everyone at one hit point. Not exactly great. And then we really don't want to shoot our pal. So Overwatch isn't a great idea here. Um, we could either oh. reload or hunker down or move into better cover. And I think that is the better idea here with only one hit point. Moving to position. But yeah, the entire mind control situation is very unfortunate hmm i just realized i should have probably tried to go into the building so he could take that cover oh well <laughs> rip it's great come on heal yourself don't go back medkit does have some range but i don't think it has quite enough for me to heal him it was only yeah it was only this much so not gonna be good enough. You can heal yourself. Especially since you would have to heal him from out of cover. And we have to return all the way to the back if we actually want to take cover. Uh, 
I do worry. Correctly so. We gotta uh, survive one more round and... That suicide. This is probably the best one. If we still want to take a shot, which we could take at the big guy over here at least. It's our only available target right now, as long as our palace mind control, so... He should definitely heal himself. Gonna take a gamble here. 84% to hit our friend, or 82% to hit the faceless. Start working on that. Ooh. Impressive. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. It looks like we might need to retreat. Yeah, I gotta reload. Even if that means that we can be flanked. Good, we gotta deal with the faces one. Luckily, mind control will end next turn. Well, now we're fucked. That is not working as planned. I think. Sure, took a sweet time to break out of that. Hmm. Let's see, I should signal uh, to him what the plan is. I see, the, the call is pretty clear. Fair enough, I'll take it. I'm not used to running away, like ever, so... Fair enough. Renman did his best. Storm. Unfortunately, the bit of inexperience with the Chosen uh, turned out to be too much. And I think I'll take care of the healing kit for now. Moving here. Mm, that stings. That stings. Pick up the corpse. Wait, it said he got killed. Why can you still get him out? Well, that's a question for later. Well, the Void Blade has certainly got the better of us. Poor rating, two injuries, one kill. And boy oh boy, did we just get our asses whooped. Alright, we're back, we landed. Well, that didn't go according to plan, but that's exactly where it becomes uh, more interesting. Chris, what was your learning out of uh, last mission? I mean, considering the picture there on uh, Ranwim, I would say smoking kills. <laughs> that's obviously to blame. Uh, yeah, I mean, a bit of a, a, bit of a dick move to have uh, the Chosen spawn in, then a uh, mind control, and, and then the... Uh, the shape changer as well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad that you put down the evacuation zone. Because yeah. uh, I, I totally may have forgotten that you can just put that anywhere you want. Yeah, I was even All considering right. doing it one turn earlier to save uh, Renvin. But I knew that um, that Sirkim was out of ammunition, so he couldn't have killed us. Um, and the Chosen's next turn would have been to vanish wind, uh, so she wouldn't have attacked again. Um, but I miscalculated the range of uh, the faceless one, which led to Renvin's early demise, unfortunately. I mean, to be fair, I, I was certain that that particular hostage was perfectly fine because we were so close to it already. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we lost 23 supplies, but nothing other than that. And here in the bar... Um, we now have our first foreign soldier, um, which is Renvin. Let's take a quick look in the armory. A couple of gravely wounded uh, soldiers and tired. So Zirkim and Ivan are actually the only ones who are available at the moment, and a lot of rookies. 
but that's fine. We'll prevail, so it's not a problem. Chris, oh, please throw, yeah. command us uh, through uh, this difficult time. Very well, very well. I do like that Hunt lives up to his name and only is uh, 12 days in the uh, infirmary, even with a grave wound. Yeah, that's what a guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, we still have everything uh, queued that it was before. Um, they heal automatically as far as I recall, and we don't really have any way of speeding that up. Uh, uh, we do. Course, uh, the, the, Templar, the Templar HQ, actually, by scanning at the Templar HQ, you reduce the healing time by half. Indeed, indeed. Or rather, we, we double the days that we make progress. I yes, correct. Um, eight days. Let's quickly have a look at... That's not what I wanted to have a look no, at. No, uh, this is essentially now the uh, the three Chosens that you yep. haven't yet met. So, let me introduce uh, the three very annoying Chosen. So, you already uh, got your shot at the um, at the, the Assassin. This here is her brother in arms. Uh, he's a sniper. Pretty annoying um, as well. And he's their boss, um, the Warlock. He can uh, do a quite nasty amount of spells. Uh, you will love all three of them. Considering how hard you shit on us already, <laughs> I do not see them again. Alright. So finish the scientist or heal faster. I like to think that just getting your uh, science progress on, on track as soon as possible is usually a good idea. Um, so we're going to finish those two days and then we're going to go back to the Templar HQ. Alright. Oh, we were back here. I see. Oh well. It's weird that you have to click on it twice. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the resistance is a daunting task. That was pretty much okay for now. We can click on continue. So, next month she also has an effect on the strategy layer. She's going to try to lower our income further, which is kind of a, a pretty nasty way of starving us out. And now since she already lowered our income by uh, almost 30, um, we are economically disadvantaged, but it's fine. We'll we'll get through it. Good. So those are the two dark events. ex soldiers will suffer greater losses to their will, meaning we take more time to recover after combat, and advent troopers will carry more explosives, which um, is kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> yes. Um... All things considered, oh, it tells you. Choose one, can you? No, no. It, it just tells you that those are the uh, the two that are that yeah. they are currently working. Right on. now, I'd probably rather lose more will than have more unavoidable damage from uh, from explosives. Okay. Commander. Good. So this is a new uh, um, uh, a new kind of uh, feature, which is called resistance orders. You can click OK. Um, and resistance orders essentially are bonuses, um, and um, each of the chosen has a faction associated to them. As you uh, continue missions for those factions, they will free up um, additional of those bonuses. So um, basically, the two bonuses uh, that we've gotten is vengeance. When a squad may dies, enter um, you will the entire squad will get a massive bonus for two turns. And the other one was, I think, 15% better will recovery. Yep, no, 15% more income. Yeah, well. And um, you do have, we do have wildcard orders up to three. And the three factions also have up to three uh, spots uh, once you um, have unlocked them fully. So overall, you could have up to 12 resistance orders and you'll get more over time. For now, we have one spot. Okay, so we have only one spot. I mean, we do have to train some rookies. So my idea is they're probably going to die a lot. 
<laughs> since we lost one of our more uh, experienced people. So it's not, it doesn't sting quite as bad when one of the one of the rookies dies on one of the few missions that we're going to go on this month. So I'm uh, currently heavily considering uh, vengeance. Okay. What is the nature of the bonuses? Like, uh, aim bonus and kind of crit for? chance for two rounds. What? Say aim again? bonus and crit chance for two rounds. And the for other either or. For, to the entire team. Okay. Plus uh, aim and plus uh, crit, and the other one is essentially fifteen percent more um, rewards. But only for resources. Like it doesn't help you if you get a reward of like a scientist. No, or, yeah, that's correct. Uh, a yeah, specialist. Very well. I mean, I would wait with this for the moment. Okay. And we're gonna grab this instead. And I get the impression we'll have to train some people. <laughs> well, luckily you in um, in. Clever Foresight already built the GTS. Uh, that's where you train people. So I've got troop number of days. Good. So this here is now... Um, we will get access to that once the resistance uh, ring is uh, finalized. Let me just shortly explain it. You'll get one um, activity for free. Those are the three factions. Uh, you can now locate the other two factions, which will give us immediately... Um, a free hero of uh, that faction, I think. Yep, add a hero of that faction. So the Reapers or the Skirmishers would give us another soldier uh, already trained. Um, and you can see, let me just shortly uh, show you a normal uh, mission. Um, each of these missions has a reward. Uh, in this case, here 12 ability points for the pool. And it gets individual uh, gives individual rewards for the soldiers that are uh, associate to the uh, to the mission, you can so um, you can staff up to two soldiers onto um, each of those missions, and they will get little bonuses uh, as you can see. For instance, whomever we put on this mission, not only would we get a faction hero, but also a nice promotion. If we put someone here, we can't do that mission because we don't have a sergeant yet. But um, the helping soldier would get, or the assisting soldier would get permanently plus one health. Uh, same here. And here it would be plus three hacking. Okay. Makes sense. I take it we have to pick one right now? Yes. Yeah, we do. It's a bonus. It's absolutely for free. Can you send people under here that are wounded or exhausted? No, you cannot. Exhausted, okay. yes. Wounded, no. I see. I mean, getting an additional hero would be nice. A promotion would be nice. The additional slot does absolutely nothing, from what I can tell. That's correct. Yeah, but uh, uh, people would get ex soldiers that we can actually send. People would still get experience. Wait, so, um, so I mean, you could, for instance, put Zirkim um, on this mission as the main soldier, and then put a rookie together with him on that mission. So Zirkim would go up to Popram and another soldier could get promoted to a normal class. Um, the rule is, for rookies, there's a 50% chance that they immediately get promoted to a normal, um, uh, to, to a squaddy rank. And elsewise, the missions don't give too much experience, just so that you know, unless it says promotion, in that case, it'll automatically happen. Let's do that. Uh, did we decide on anyone else we want to send? Sure, you can select you either. One. Did so, you say something? Uh, no, uh, select whomever you uh, select whomever you deem reasonable. Okay, in that case, let's grab Jessica Jones. All right. Very well. Then you need to confirm the action, and in fifty days we would get a promotion and a new faction hero, and a new faction, and Jessica Jones maybe gets another promotion as well. There's the resistance drop. Very well, let's ignore that for the moment. Uh, and finish the scientist. This is weird. Uh, what you've seen is, uh, the, the this is the picture of the assassin basically indicating yeah. that she reigns here. Very well. Oh, I forgot it was Battle Scanners. My bad. That's not very good. 
No, better skinners are excellent. Actually, I seem to recall getting the roll diffuse out of them. So this is cool. Breakthroughs can happen after every single turn. Uh, you need to take them or they will be permanently lost for this run. Uh, in this case, uh, we could get modular sniper rifles, meaning all of our sniper rifles get an extra mod slot. An additional one. Exactly. And we already have... We only have one sniper so far. Yeah. How long does this take? Eight? Ten days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be slightly less because of the... Uh, uh, because of the scientists that we're about to get. I really would like to get into armor, but sniper rifles are the bomb. Yeah, let's just let's just go even deeper into offensive abilities. What could go wrong? Nothing. Yeah, all where's is my, good. Where's the queue? Are we still working on that scientist? Because I think yes. they are, yeah. So let's finish that. Please let us finish that. Thank you. Okay. Yep, the supply drop. More supplies. Jesus. All right. Working on the facility. We only have 67 supplies, so supply drop would be interesting. Um... Yeah, let's do the supply drop next, I think. How long? Let me check one thing first, which is how long are our soldiers injured? Maybe we can get a quick win there. There. Ten days. So if we spend five days there, we get our Templar back as well as Hunk. Uh, I would like that, actually. I like to imagine that five days is a reasonable time where we don't get attacked already. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll see how I, idealistic an idea that is. Else I would say go for the supply drop, but if we can get both of them back, that's going to be a big deal. Look at that, you got the resistance ring. So you can now... Yeah, you can now essentially... Um, use that building here to um, uh, go into covert actions and that will always open the same menu that you've seen before where you can lay out those covert actions uh, if you later upgrade it um, you can um, uh, you can even get another wild card and if you staff someone here it's a 33 percent increase um, of the covert action speed yep. makes sense then let's continue for now, since uh, we are still uncovering the uh, debris with our uh, engineer that's open. Nice, and, and there's the next uh, mission. Let's take a look at it. Our next operation will put us cool. So that would be... Uh, the game now realizes we have lost the Ranger, right? Um, so we're short on rangers and short on manpower, which the game um, interprets as, hey, uh, let's get a ranger um, as, uh, as a good reward uh, for this mission. It would be only a squatty, but um, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, recover an item from Resistance Haven is pretty damn good, and we would um, also counter the greater loss of willpower that you didn't like. Uh, we get a side trap, and um, not all side trips are negative. In this case, no mission timer will start until we break concealment, which gives us uh, enough time uh, to do whatever we want on this mission. Um, before we end today's session, let's just really quickly take a, a brief uh, look in, um, in our um, armory. Uh, we know that Hogbite and Hunk will not be available, but it was a smart move, I must might say that, that you were trying to speed up their recovery, which actually worked very well, so for the next mission they would be available. So we would probably go in with Roby, who is your um, gunner, and Ivan, who is also your sharpshooter, which means I will support you with uh, two fresh rookies. <laughs> 
and the fullest motivation um, to uh, to actually do the mission here. And if if we're successful, we'll um, get a, um, an assault back plus. In just a few days, uh, that's not too bad, we will get another skirmisher back, plus a promotion, plus potentially yet another promotion on Jessica Jones. So things are lining up in our favor. Uh, we um, took a little bit of a blowback, but it seems we're on the right track. Chris, thank you so much uh, for joining uh, me today, and thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, leave a uh, comment down below. Um, specifically, if you want to see more of those co-op plays, um, I wish you all the best, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.